What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jim Leader Geo, and this is the locker room week four of the APA season five. The San Francisco Giantes are team building for Carolina Clefables and their coach Panther too. Um, this is the second time I'm recording this, so I'm going to be trying to go a lot faster because I got a lot more things I want to get up. Uh, on the channel ASAP so I can't be spending too much time on each individual project we're gonna hop straight into the team after I kind of just go over our rosters so the six I'm bringing this week are Victini, Celebi, Sloking, Mega Metacham, Metagross, and Ditto and the 11 that the Carolina Clefables drafted are Garchomp, Melodic, Clefable, Alolan, Muck, Swellow, Mega Agron, Decidueye, Azelf, Darmanitan, Electivire, and Cryogonal. So I've sort of, you guys know how I do, sort of tiered them based, I think, a little bit more on the pertinence of it as a threat relative to my team, and um, sort of based on likelihood that I think they get brought, but not really. I've tried to do it that way. And sometimes that's kind of how I, I see it, but it's not always like the top six Mon or definitely the six I think he's bringing. I just think that there is um, a pressing reason, but some of them might fit the same bill. And so one of them might be like on tier two because there's a very pressing reason to bring that type of Pokemon, but then maybe there's a one on tier one that's more likely to be brought for that reason. And so it doesn't end up coming, something like that. Um, so looking at the top row, Garchomp, Melodic, and Clefable. Uh, Garchomp is uh, his most brought Mon. It was his first drafted Mon. My team has decent answers to ground, not necessarily to both Dragon and ground though. So um, Celebi, for example, does fine against ground types, but doesn't really survive to Dragon Stab from that thing. Uh, it's speed tier is just barely above all of my Pokemon. I have a bunch of one speed tier 100s. He's speed tier 102. Uh, I have a dragon resist in Metagross, but of course it doesn't resist Earthquake. It's actually weak to Earthquake. As far as like really bulky Pokemon, Slowking's pretty bulky, but can't really fit the bill. So it's like a lot of it is pretty hard. It's going to be a big speed control pick for me. Uh, and it's just a very pertinent threat. So I have brought a team to kind of try and uh, make an answer to that. But just offensively speaking, it's going to be kind of a problem. Melodic, I think, comes because it's a potential answer to Victini. It's a relatively decent defensive switch into uh, Mega Metacham and other things. Just a solid defensive Pokemon, which is why I think it comes. Uh, Clefable is another one of those kind of like all-rounders, but more importantly, um, it could be unaware. And if it's unaware, then I he can feel a little bit more confident setting up with some things, like maybe Swords Dance Garchomp, because I, even if I copy it with Ditto, he can then just become an unaware Clefable and not really have to worry about it. So it allows him to run setup without fear of Ditto, knowing that he can be unaware. He could also be Magic Guard with like a, a Magic Guard Calm mindset, something like that, which is just a solid set overall and solid sets are solid sets. Bulk wise, it can do relatively well against uh, some of the Pokemon on my team. Uh, so there is that. I, I don't really have anything that's like, this is a Clefable check Pokemon, like a Pokemon that is known to be a Clefable check outside of Metagross. And so I think he could kind of try and play it around that set on it for a late game or something along those lines. We have the Alolan Muck next. Alolan Muck, simply by virtue of me being the psychic type gym, I think Alolan Muck comes just because it's... It's a Lolan Muck, and like that is its role is to kind of like pursuit trap or just be a dangerous dark type to the psychic type gym. I'm not even bringing um, Gardevoir this time, although I am bringing uh, Mega Metacham. So I I don't have a dark resist, but you know I I have something for it. Swellow I think comes just because it's relatively hard to switch into. And I think Mega Agron comes because it's a good physical answer uh, and a decent switch into things like Celebi and um, Bulk. Just heavy Bulk in general, 
EQ is good coverage for my team, uh, paired with, like, if you, like, it's stab. If you resist it's stab, you don't resist EQ, I guess is kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, good could be a good rocker, uh, and so there's value in it there. Decidui, so Decidui, I I have it pretty high up there because it and Azelf were both on that tier just by virtue of how well they stack up against Psychic types, but as far as actual effectiveness as a Pokemon, neither of them do particularly well. Like, they don't do poorly against my team. They both have significant, beneficial, offensive presence, but Decidui is slow, so... He'll get outsped by a majority of the Pokemon on my team. And so it I don't know that I think Decidui comes just because while, yes, Ghost Stab is amazing, Victini will outspeed it, Celebi will outspeed it, uh, Slowking won't, obviously, but Mega Metacham will outspeed it. Um, I don't think my Metagross, this particular Metagross that I'm bringing will, but I think they're the same speed tier. Um... Yes, they're both uh, base speed 70, so uh, they could be speed tying depending on what he's running and what he thinks I'm running. Azelf, um, it's just I have too many things that could potentially switch in on it, and so it would likely just be like an explosion type mon, uh, which, you know, it's not bad to, you know, maybe get a setup and then explode out of there and take someone with you. But the issue with doing that, I don't, I don't know what people think, right? Like he might think that's a very good strategy. That's not an amazing strategy against a a gym, and here's why. In theory, as a concept, since all of my Pokemon are psychic type for the most part, you take, you get rid of one. The pertinent threats are still there for one reason or another. Like each of these Mons were drafted um, with a similar threat concept and then something else on the side. So they all, by nature of being psychics, have similar threats and similar weaknesses with just a little other things on the side based on their dual typing and what their abilities are. So, you know, if he were to explode and take out Celebi, for example, okay, now you're down one Pokemon and it might have had specific value for you. Being a psychic type, maybe it's one of the only things you can do to stop Psychic Stab. I don't know, you know, something along those lines. That's sort of the theory there. Uh, but it's not that it's a bad mon. It's got a good speed tier, outspeeds my team, and it's got good coverage. So it could definitely come. That's why I have it relatively high up. Uh, the bottom row, maybe I think Darmanitan's in the row above, maybe not. Darmanitan and Electivire both share similar qualities. Uh, in that they are base speed 95. So many of my Pokemon have actually been speed tiered just specifically to outspeed them. They're both pretty beefy, strong boys that are kind of slow. I mean, not like slow, but relative to my team, they're not going to outspeed my threats. And so I think him looking at the speed tiers, they don't come. Electivire, just really, there's no reason for it. Darmanitan, just by nature of it being very strong, there's, you know, always a possibility. Uh, but it doesn't fit a role other than just being something that hits hard, and he has multiple other mods on his team that could do that. Decidui could do that. Azelf could do that. And so I don't see it being that special. Uh, so that's why I have it in the bottom tier. Electivire, just probably no, and Cryogonal does really no. I mean, Cryogonal really doesn't... It doesn't match up well to a lot of the Pokemon on my team. Z-Drive does well against it. Slow Panther does well against it. It's just not particularly threatening to me. Gardevoir would also take it on 1v1. So it like it doesn't serve a specific purpose. It's like, oh, I need this. I need the ice type to beat this. While I do have Pokemon that can set up hazards, it's not like a core concept of my team. Like I don't have like the hazard setters. I just have Pokemon that can learn it. And so I don't know that he needs the rapid spin potential. I don't know that he thinks it's a great special lead defensive check to me so it just in general i don't see i think it's the least likely pokemon for him to bring so let's go over the team here uh, as you can see we have an assault vest metagross this is really just kind of a catch-all it's um meteor mash earthquake zen headbutt pursuit uh it could be useful for the azelf it's a really good switch into the azelf and it's a really good switch into the swellow so i like it as a switch into the swellow because either boom burst or it's burb spam 
regardless of whether it's going special or Guts offensive physical set, I really don't mind it that much. Uh, with my HP investment, a very high attack stat, so my pursuit will do a lot. If the Swallow comes and the Swallow just wants to be able to think it can freely click Boom Burst, for example, it can't with Z Drive around. So that's a very important reason to hold on to it. Another important reason to hold on to it would be for the Clefable and possibly for the Azelf. But outside of that, it doesn't have a massive amount of value other than it's bulky enough that it can kind of just take a hit and kind of give one back. It doesn't match up well against lots of his other threats, but primarily those threats are covered by other things. So Z Drive really just fits the bill as sort of this mid ground, take a hit, give a hit kind of Pokemon. It'll be useful for me in the mid game. We have Appletini next, Shuckaberry, V Create, Glaciate, Bolt Strike, and Power Up Punch. That coverage just kind of gives me a little bit of something for every one of his major brings. Glaciate uh, to take on the Garchomp. It's not a one hit KO, but it still will put a lot of damage onto him and it lowers his speed to put him in range for a, uh, a second hit. So I should only have to take one attack from a Garchomp in order to get the KO with Glaciate. I have the Shucka so that I can take an Earthquake from him. Uh, v Create is there just because it's my powerful stab and the only things on his squad that are even remotely okay with taking one uh, would be Garchomp and Melodic. Um, uh, neither of them want to take the other things I have to pack to back it up, Glaciate and Bolt Strike. The only Pokemon on his team that really outspeed me are Garchomp, the Azelf, and that's it. So the Power Up Punch is there. Like if I have gained speed control, then uh, I can just start Power Up Punching and potentially go for the win that way so that's why power punch is there could have been a u-turn maybe but i didn't i don't know don't think i need it uh moving on we have remix uh standard set it's going to be really useful for me for a couple of things it's a decent switch into mega agron it's a very good switch into the muck it can um it's a good switch into Azelf to find out what Azelf is running, uh, especially because if it's kind of one of those sets that's like, oh, I'll set up first and then I'll do this, I could potentially uh, copy it, find out whether or not it is an explosion set, like the Gen 4 setup explosion. It's a good switch into like Electivire and Darm and Cryogonal. The entire bottom row aren't amazing against themselves. Um, weirdly, uh, the. <laughs> The, the big boys both actually learn Earthquake and it's super effective against themselves. So in theory, there's that risk, but they're, it's good against both of them. It allows me to potentially copy setup from Garchomp or from the Muck, I guess. Coil Melodic, although I'm sorry, like that's a, that's a niche bring and this is not the type of, I don't have the type of team that you should probably do it against because it's like quite heavily offensive potentially the combine setup from the Clefable, although I would probably lose that just by nature of him being able to soft-boiled when I could not. Gives me a potential knockoff answer if I don't want to be Scarfed anymore, like if I've already won the speed um, the speed race, like I've taken out Garchomp and Azelf, something like that. Uh, and pretty much other than that, just kind of a general set for, for Remix there. Psychic, oh, I'm excited to bring it this week. Uh, we have Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Ice Punch, and Bulk Up. Bulk Up, I can pop off to take a hit from the Muck, something like a knockoff, uh, and then we'll definitely be able to survive a follow-up Shadow Sneak, or um, like if it, if it were going to try and pursue me on my way out or something like that, I can use that as a setup opportunity. I can do it against something that I'm pretty sure is a forced switch, and it will allow me to survive a follow-up then from something that might be a switch into that. It allows me to, I mean, it's already kind of a guarantee that Poison Jab's an Oko on the Clefable, but it, it's good to have that anyway. It can set up potentially against Melodic, just has to worry about the Scald Burn, so it's a risk, but it's an option. Ice Punch, Poison Jab, Drain Punch, it does everything I could possibly need. I have Ice Punch for Garchomp, I have Drain Punch for the Melodic, I have Poison Jab for the Clefable, I have Drain Punch for the Muck, 
uh, Ice Punch for the Swellow, Drain Punch for the Aggron, Ice Punch for the Decidueye. I guess, in theory, I would pop off a... <laughs> I don't know what I would do against the Azelf, I suppose. Maybe I would bulk up and then just start kind of going from there. And then just Drain Punch for everything else. So, I, you know, just a little bit of everything I need just to get by. Speed tier to beat the 95s. Uh, we'll get outsped by the Swellow, Azelf, and the Garchomp. Moving on, we have Slow Panther, Scald, Psy Shock, Slack Off Calm Mind with a Rocky Helmet. This one's kind of my, uh, it's my answer if he has pivoting going on. It's a potential answer. This is weird, but it could potentially be an answer for an Alolan Muck because unless he's ridiculously offensive, I can actually take a knockoff relatively well. He'll get rid of my Rocky Helmet, but then I'll be okay and I can just slack off against him. Uh, it's a good switch into the Mega Aggron. It kind of depends on the Garchomp set. Maybe I can be an answer to Garchomp, maybe not. It's a good answer to um, several of the physical threats except for potentially the Decidueye and the Electivire. Uh, and Calm Mind will mean it'll win a war against any other specially defensive type Mon, like maybe the Clefable, uh, and potentially the Melodic, depending on its set. Um, you know, Melodic could have some kind of phasing tools, but uh, relatively basic set. Scald just there to try and, try and net a burn on any physical threat if it thinks it can switch in against me, and just needed a little bit of bulk here. And I kind of liked the addition of the water typing for this week. And then finally, we have uh, Celebi Anthony, the Celebi. Giga Drain, Earth Power, Nasty Plot, and Recover with Ground EMZ. With Ground EMZ at plus two, I can Oko a Assault Vest Alolan Muck. And the Nasty Plot allows me to boost up against fellow boosters. Um, like, say... Hmm. Uh, at one point, so some of these moves, I kind of had fourth move slot syndrome here a little bit. Originally, it wasn't recover. I have, um, in my the back of my mind, I have hidden power ice as a potential move because it would help against the Garchomp. But I decided if I got a nasty plot up, I would just Giga Drain against the Garchomp. I decide that I will click probably... Yeah, I think recover. I think recover is better than hidden power ice here. It it allows me to better take on something like a fellow boosting um, Clefable, and it it allows me to just shore myself up and make me a really good switch into the melodic as well, because even with the ice beam, unless it's very offensively invested, it won't be too hit KOing me, and so I can kind of like recover up. If he does happen to get the freeze on me, I have natural cure, so I can switch out on that. If I get scald burned again, I can natural cure it off. Uh, Giga Drain will take that on. Giga Drain will do fine if it's at plus two against the Garchomp. Uh, the ground stab is just a really good coverage alongside the Giga Drain, and the things that it's not are things that I wouldn't stay in against anyway, just because they're, the potential threat to me is too high, and because I'd probably be better off going something else. Like, for example, um, Giga Drain Earth Power doesn't do anything against the Swellow or the Decidueye, really. And, but obviously I would not stay in against either of those Pokemon because I would just go to Z Drive instead. So that is the full team. Let me guy, let me know, guys, what you think about the team in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys later.